Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Now that we've done quite a fair bit of extra side stuff, quite a bit, a fair bit of extra side stuff, I forgot about the thing, the, what's it called? Octopus thing, or squid. That's okay. Um, It's time to go to the Forsaken Fortress, though. Let's do that, and let me quickly just... I know that we have the... 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 thing for this island. On the chart. By default. But also, what's the information from this specific fish? If any. Hoist small fry. Wait, what? Oh, no, we didn't. What? I'm crazy. Maybe? I don't know. Something happened. I hear there's a fellow on Windfall Island who's collecting skull necklaces. You know who it is, Fry? I don't, sorry. What I can- Ah, uh, what I can tell you is that those piggish monsters you see here in the Forsaken Fortress seem to carry those skull necklaces around all the time. Not that I think it's easy work stealing for anything from the likes of those guys. And that's all the info I've got to offer. That's actually a pretty good info, so... We need to also dodge all these cannons that are around. Uh, and if I can actually hit the right button, we need to blow up this door. We can also shoot out these cannons so they don't bother us. But I'm pretty sure they'll probably respawn at some point. No matter what. Ganon has likely been made aware of your little in Incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Let's do it. We don't have to worry about being caught anymore because we have a sword this time. But anyway. We have a mid-boss to fight immediately. Phantom Ganon. Who we have to play tennis with, of course. When do you ever have to not play tennis with... Ganon. Or Ganondorf. Come on, do some damage when he's stunned. Okay, here we go again. Okay, we're doing good. Just a little bit more. That's a lot of tennis, oh my goodness. But there we go. We didn't defeat him, but it's good enough for now. And we also get an item straight away. You got the skull hammer. Set it to a button, then uh, this mighty hammer can break things and pound obstacles into the ground. Some enemies even get stunned by the shockwaves it causes when you pound the ground with it. So we have a new special item to equip. So let's equip that. Pro to Y. And now, if we get into the lights here, instead of getting caught, it'll just spawn enemies. The mini blend specifically. So having that shortcut up there would have been good because we actually need to come back here. Also, there's cannons apparently. But now we can use our, our skull hammer to knock these into the ground as long as we're not holding the control stick. We can also squish 
those mini blends behind us, which is weird. Or just tilt the control stick to send them flying, so. Ah! Mini blends are the worst things. Also, hitting obstacles. There it goes! Ah, oh, come on. This is not a great place to be. I should just go and take out the spotlights, probably. Because I think we don't need to take out all of them, but we do need to take out one still. Just because I'm pretty sure that the mini blends will get in the way otherwise. Same stuff as before. I think we have all the treasure chests in this dungeon already, so... There's, there's really not much to it other than just get to the place where we need to go. Also, hey, I'm going to take your thing from you. Cool. This is going well. Now, can I... Cheese this. Yes, I can. I love cheesing things. Because this allows us to get to the second... Uh, lookout spotlight nice and quickly. Let me just take that and then just completely destroy you. Okay, just one spotlight left. Now, what's the best way over there? I guess it's just to go this way. Can't go up there apparently. That's okay. Let's -a go. We can also get any anything we missed in the first time we were here, but I I got everything apparently. Just grab that. It's not actually that strong apparently. Now I think we actually need to use a leaf to get across here. Is what it wants. It's so nice being able to set three items that we can use at once. Kind of. Just need to do that. There's all these things now that spawn in to make sure you can't progress otherwise without the skull hammer, but we also have this we're supposed to have the skull hammer, but anyway. It's just to make sure you get used to using it, I guess. Now is this where yes, maybe. It's not actually the shortcut that I was looking for. But, you know, it's this, so. Also I should have Actually is the shortcut still there? Hang on. Turn. No, the shortcut that I set up there isn't there anymore. That's weird. Anyway. Just gonna grab that, and... You are gone. I wonder, though... Oh, but the wind direction is probably gonna... Never mind, I pressed the wrong button anyway. I was gonna try and leaf over to the ladder. I don't think I would have made it, so... Let's just move on. Need to use the leaf again. I could also get a lot of skull necklaces from the moblins down below. I have 21, that's pretty good, but I need more than that, I'm pretty sure. Why are the bombs down there? On the rats. Just normal things. Also, that's kind of like bomb chews, kind of. Having rats that hold bombs. Also, the block isn't here, so I can't make the shortcut. What? That's rude. Also, is that a guy over there? Also, that thing's up there, trying to laser, laser me. What is that over there? I can't... Can't really get up there to see from here. Hang on, can I... Use my telescope? Although, the thing's in the way, isn't it? Oh my goodness, why is that perfectly in the way? I might look from up higher if I can. Okay, more moblins, which we can take out, and take their skull necklaces, of course. Well, he's gone. Just grab that. They also have their lanterns that they can use to spawn fire. Good job. Okay, let me just double check the map to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, we're good. This is, I, I love the Forsaken Fortress, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that already, but I love it. It's really cool. Okay, can I... 
Hmm, something suspicious is going on here. Just looking at each other through telescopes. But anyway, I'm probably not going to talk to him right now. I don't know if he's going to move though, is the thing. And I'm concerned that he's going to move once I'm done here. Oh my goodness, mini blends. I need my hammer. I don't know why I put that away, actually. And I kind of need it. Oh my goodness, they're on the wall. Oh my goodness, he's gone. Okay, please, mini blends, leave me alone. Please, mini blend. No, 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 mini blend. No, 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 mini blend. Nope, there he is. But will he, will he be back? I don't know. Okay, we're good. For the moment. Let's just go across here. I'm pretty sure something stops you from getting across here if there's a light. I don't know if it's enemies or bombs or cannons, whatever. You, I'm pretty sure you just need to take out the spotlight that's on this ledge here. But anyway, we've made it all the way up now. So let's just activate the switch. And let's go see Errol. Big brother! You're okay. I was worried. Hi. The cell won't open that easily. There you go, acting before you think as usual. I swear, do you even realize what we had to draw, what we had to draw the- Did you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. That sword. Where did you get that? Are you... Is it even possible? How could it be? Hmm. Well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there still something that you need to take care of? If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally I'd expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time it's my treat. Listen, Errol, your brother has still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so you just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? But, big brother... Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. The bird will soon be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine. Just do as you're told. Big brother! Link, we'll be back, I swear it.
The water is rising, and the Helmrock King is here to try and attack us. So we need to get up as fast as we possibly can. Don't worry about falling down, just make sure you get back onto the land. Unfortunately though, the Helmrock King is also destroying parts of the area that we need to actually go up. But there is poles with the torches for you to swing on with the grappling hook if you need to get up that way. So don't worry too much about falling down, but also you probably want to avoid that if you can. Go, 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 go. Barely keeping ahead of it right now. We're at the top though. Here's the Helmrock King, let's use the Skull Hammer! And that Joy Pendant will forever... haunt me. <laughs> And now it's time for the real boss, the Helmrock King. Need to be careful when it comes in. But we also want it to... ...pop its head into the ground and we need to hit it with a skull hammer. It can also scrape its claws along, or talons along the ground. Whenever it's coming in for a swoop, so you need to be careful of that. It can go... Dance around crazily to attack you. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You just need to have it do that and do that. You need to make sure you keep an eye on it while it's in the air as well, so that it doesn't just surprise you out of nowhere. Oh, here it comes for claws, talons. Oh, but it crashed into the side of the boat there. The ship. Okay. Also, I love how the spotlights follow the Helmrock King. It's really cool. Can you attack me, please? Like, actually come down and attack me? Oh, there's also another attack that it has. Because there are spikes on the out outer edge of everything in here, this arena. And so the Helmrock King will blow you into him. With his wings, somehow. Okay, landing? No. Crashing again. I think he's stuck in a loop, which is not good for me. I don't know how I'm going to get him out of a loop, though. Probably by being over here. Okay. Can you please land? I really need you to land right now. Ow. Can you please land? Oh my goodness. Oh, what did you do? What did you break? What is this? That's weird. I think it actually destroys part of the outside, I guess. Maybe that's what I need it to do. Or it can just land, finally. I don't know. Okay, please attack me. No, don't lift launch again. Oh, you're flying. Oh, I need to run away into the into the wind so I don't hit the spikes. I hit the spike, of course. Okay. Back in the air again. Landing? Yes. Come on, beak attack. Thank you, and... Not quite. Almost there. A lot of cracks in his helmet, sir. Ah, okay, hit that one more time. And his mask is off. Now we need to do damage to his face as much as possible. Rinse and repeat. Basically the same as before, but we need to now, don't, don't have to worry about his mask. We just need to get him. 
Although his mask can get in the way of your hits, I'm pretty sure. Unless they change it in this version. No, I'm pretty sure they can. No, I guess not. No mind. Thought I, I'm, I'm just crazy. Ah, hello. Somehow dodging everything in the universe. I'm gonna land. Nope. Ah. Oh my goodness. He seems safe. Gonna land? No. Gonna swoop again. Well, where am I? I think I was on top of the spikes or something. It's fine. Where'd he go? Follow the feathers. <laughs> Landing? Landing. Okay. Take off. Flying. Pushing. Pushing his helmet around. On the ground. Okay. Come on. No, 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 no. That's not how you want to fight. That's not how you're supposed to fight. Just attack me, please. There we go. Let's finish him off. Hamura King is defeated, and we get another heart container. Look at all these feathers. <laughs> anyway, let's head on up. It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf. And I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its resting place, did you by chance notice how all of the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child, while that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time, it has long played another role. You see, it is also sort of a sort of key, a most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. You cannot defeat me with a blade like that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell them that the, to the tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Its power is gone and its edges are dull.
Link, get up! Ah, uh, stop. Let, let me go. You pathetic little sea rat. My Triforce of Power is resonating. Ha! At long last I have found you, Princess Zelda. What? What? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. For... Foreigning ignorance. Feigning in ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? It's all right, Link. She has merely lost consciousness. consciousness. Your sister has, ex has, has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Velu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. I'm aware of this. Yet I thought our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. Link, I will explain things later. Now we must return to the world beneath the sea. Oh, ow. Link, are you alright? You're alright? <laughs> What is this place? Hey, and Gandalf, what happened to him? Hey. Link, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is using that stone? Just who are you? Link and I are the only ones who can speak through this stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Link to see me at once. <laughs> well, don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Link, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get where that voice is. Well, let's do that then. Tetra should follow us somewhat, maybe. Unless she gets really stuck. <laughs> Come on, Tetra. Also, the water's still not moving. No, it is. It's just not moving that much. Oh my goodness, Tetra. Come on. You're better than this. But anyway, the stone has moved back again. Which is good for us since we need to go down there. Come on, Tetra. Just a little bit further. Ah, 
Are you him? Are you the one who was speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me. That stone is an inheritant, enhanced version of the Gossip Stones, long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. You made it? The royal family's Gossip Stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legends of the great hero, the place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place where the two of you, the two of you now stand, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king, Daphnis Nahansen Hyrule. Link, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the King of Red Lions. There was no need for me to, tra to reveal my true identity to you, so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and only, uh, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with torrential downpour of rains from the heavens. Our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. These people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Gandalf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the reason that you live, the very reason that you live. My fate? You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda, I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. 
Link. I am terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair. And so will the world, you know, above the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion that about what was has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come back, come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, this sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Link, we must go. Link. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. Link. Be careful. So there we go. It explains a few things. Like for one thing, this picture of Princess Zelda from the past, I guess. But also all the characters around her being the crewmates or descendants. The descendants of these characters being the crewmates on Tetra's ship. Which is pretty cool. Just looking very different. <laughs> it's so cool. And also... Ah, the picture of the king. Who looks a lot like the King of Red Lions. Kind of. There's a, f a few differences, obviously. But if we can think about the two of them now that we've seen both of them, we can kind of see the design choices made between them. But anyway... Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword has lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the god's power. The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north, and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the sages, and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have er erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking a path to the temples. But each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda, Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. So let's do that, leaving Hyrule once again. And once again we can't go back. Link, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. 
A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe, much as Zelda had kept hers. That sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey, he left the land of Hyrule. He was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that he <laughs> said at that time the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where the, they rest, but this is this much I do know: they lie hidden somewhere in the great in this great sea. Might you have, <laughs> might you have crossed paths with someone who knows much about things that lie hidden? in the depths of the sea? Well, fret not. If you can think of no one, though, maybe you, you would come upon the knowledge by asking around in a place where many people gather. Obviously hinting about finding Tingle, because he can do something with sea charts or something. Or treasure charts, but anyway. That is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.